Within every goodbye lies the potential for a promising hello. That's the story with Dell's Inspiron Gaming line. The company recently phased out its entry-level gaming laptop series in favor of something more exciting and powerful, the new G-Series brand, including the G715, starting at $849, reviewed at $1049. Rocking a sports car-like design complete with eye-catching color, the G7 looks like nothing Dell ever made. But beyond the fetching new look, you get loud audio and specs capable of delivering solid mid-level gaming performance. However, a dim display and sluggish hard drive keep the G715 from earning a higher rating. But nowhere near an Alienware, the G7 has a look all its own that's a breath of fresh air in a sea of black and red chassis. The alpine white plastic lid with the light grey hinge is a definite crowd pleaser. The paint job has a subtle pearlescence that helps to bring out the bright blue Dell emblem in the center. The rear vent, with its blue highlighting and chrome G7, gives you the sensation that the laptop is about to go racing down the track. A pair of raised, black rubber feet along the bottom allows the hot air to escape. It would have been nice if Dell had brought that winter white to the system's interior, especially with the blue font on the keyboard. Still, I enjoyed resting my wrists and palms against the cool, black aluminum surface. The bezels surrounding the 15.6-inch display are on the thick side but I like the shiny Dell logo embedded into the bottom border. If only the G7's 15.6-inch, 1920x1080 display were as vibrant and brilliant as the laptop's lid. Where Geralt's bone white hair usually pops against a jet black sky in The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt, those ashen tresses looked rather listless on the G7. And while I could see the sickly pink, glistening skin of the bot killing, it took on a ruddy shade of red that concealed some of the bluish veins underneath. Watching the Hate You Give trailer, details were so sharp that I could see the stitching and mesh in Star Carter's Jordans although the read was a little darker than expected. The hue was also off at the red light party which made it look like a magenta gathering instead. We were disappointed to discover that the panel could reproduce 62% of the sRGB color gamut, which is well below the 106% average for mainstream gaming laptops. The GV62 and Helios did somewhat better at 72 and 81 percent. The power spec fared the best, with 113 percent. While I enjoy the G7's island-style keyboards blue font and brilliant cerulean backlighting, the typing experience leaves something to be desired. With a shallow 0.94 mm of key travel, 1.5 mm is our accepted minimum, and a decent 61 grams of actuation, our minimum is 60 G, the keyboard made typing a bit uncomfortable. I found myself bottoming out sooner than expected, which made maintaining a good typing rhythm difficult. I managed only 56 words per minute on the 10 fast fingers typing test, well below my usual 70 WPM. The 4.1x 3.1 inch touchpad delivered better performance than the keyboard, quickly registering multi-touch gestures, such as pinch zoom, three finger press and flick. The bottom edges of the touchpad produced a nice click when depressed. The G7 is not bursting with ports, but it definitely has enough slots, jacks and inputs to support a modest gaming battle station. On the right, you'll find two USB 3.1 ports, a Thunderbolt 3 port, HDMI 2.0 and a headset jack. There's an additional USB 3.1 port on the left alongside an Ethernet port, a 2-in-1 card reader, a Noble lock slot and the power jack.